Hi, welcome to Colin's Corner, and I'm your host, Colin Gregory. And today we'll be focusing on acupuncture. And today I'm at Center Acupuncture, located at 303 Fifth Avenue, Suite 1415. And with me is my very special guest, owner acupuncturist Dan Parita. So Dan, what inspired you to be an acupuncturist? I think it has to do with um, the fact that I have a history of healers and doctors in my family, so uh, it comes naturally to me. The healing arts, something I've been interested in for a larger, greater portion of my life. Okay. How, um, many, how many years now? Well, I've been, I've been doing it for eight years now, approximately. Um, I started studying, actually, when I was younger, about 14 or 15, I actually studied Reiki. Um, and then that, I think that's what segued me eventually into love pursuing acupuncture. I'm a personal uh, patient myself. I had inflammation in my legs. I, I, I couldn't walk for a long time. I had a really bad problem. Right. And Melissa Jeanette, who we both know with Ying Tang, mm -hmm. she was like the Wonder Woman. She got me walking again. She got me going from a 90-year-old with a cane to sprinting like a 20-year-old again. Yeah. And hopefully you, you'll, you'll be doing that as Superman to me, too. But the, the thing is with the needles now, explain the technique you use, because there's, there's Chinese and then there's Japanese, and why you use one okay. versus the other. So I think that, okay, truthfully speaking, there is not a vast difference between Chinese and Japanese acupuncture. It's all operating on the same meridian system. It's um, just like also shiatsu, acupressure your needling points along meridians usually. The difference is the point selection usually, um, the needles that you're using, which is probably most clinically relevant. Um, Japanese needles tend to be higher quality, to put it bluntly, um, less painful. And you know, it's just usually a less painful experience. Um, so in that sense, I do I incorporate that. Um, diagnostically, I use the Chinese, the traditional Chinese medicine TCM method, um, okay. formulating diagnoses and point selections as well. And you'd be surprised where the trigger points are, right? Yeah. Like people, the pain's down here, but your nerve or something up here, the trigger point is up here, like yeah, oh, that can happen controls too. that down there. That it's happens bizarre. all the time, yeah. You'll, you'll start feeling sensations in different parts and that come, and that's, has to do with the development of the meridian theory where you have pathways in your body. And so, oh. you know, you're needling in one spot, influencing another, the other end of that meridian. Um, but the, the more Western, going back to that more, the, the Western um, acceptance of acupuncture, it's, you know, it, it's understood as, you know, your needles are going directly into that muscle tissue and they're just, it just has an effect where it has a regulating, resetting effect to the musculature, which a lot of times, even if you have, let's say, a slip disc in your neck or a structural irregularity, the body's muscles tend to respond and they start to seize up and they start to do these funky things and that makes pain. And so the needles go in and they reset all of that and it usually just makes pain go away very fast. So that's why private insurance companies, some policies, not all of them, um, sometimes they will completely cover it. Have you done anybody in sports? Raf Rafael Nadal. Okay, he's suffering from tendonitis. No. He should come over to center acupuncture and yeah. get treated by you. I have yeah. treated, yeah, I've treated athletes. Um, I actually treated a professional tennis player, who will remain unnamed, oh, okay. but, cool. and runners. I definitely, I see a lot of people that run, kill their bodies running marathons, and mm -hmm. you know, they, and That's it really cool. helps them out a lot. It helps yeah. them to recover. Um, so there's also that the performance enhancing kind of aspect that some people like to do. So. Okay, so Dan, uh, I guess what you're gonna do now is show something maybe like a little treatment with for allergies, like sinuses and stuff like that. That's going, I, I get a lot of that. I get a lot of congestion and um, it just show show the needles. Okay, sure. It, you know, well, show the me, needles hit are me with your best shot, go ahead. Well, the needles are, um, they're single use, steril sterilized, surgical grade, you know, thin filaments and um, they usually, are inserted with a little guide tube like this, a little plastic tube they come in. Mm -hmm. And you find, so I'm gonna start here on you. You know, the acupuncturist usually just finds the point right. with their hands, mm -hmm. you put the tube to the surface and you tap it in like that. And then it's in. Okay, so and then it's like the usual feather. It's like a feather hitting your skin, it's great. And then you come back to it and usually do a stimulating techniques like this. Mm -hmm. And just basically hold the needle in place. Excellent. So Excellent. we're gonna start off with what we call as a distal point which is a distal point along the affected area. So it's the influence further up to the head. Mm -hmm. And this is just very simplified, of course. And then there's different types of needles. So that, you know, so on the face, usually we use smaller, thinner needles, mm -hmm. just like that. 
Wow, you, that was amazing. I did not feel anything. Oh, they're very, cool. they're super thin. Wow. And then over here too. Something like this. Well, it depends on, it really depends on the person, the time of season, and their allergies. Mm, I'm going to say, answer. I'm going to say on average, mm -hmm. you know, people will typically, if they respond well to the first treatment, they get, you know, noticeable results. Okay. Anywhere from like three to six treatments usually is good for the whole season. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes two, one or two treatments is enough. Sometimes. And tune up. Yeah. Everything. I'm also going to pop one in your ear here. This oh. is just a. Audio. Oh, great. I can hear really? the needle. It's, uh, the ear, the ear is actually has its own, is its own, uh, map that points on it. It correlates to the whole body. So uh -huh. at any rate though, um, did that one in your ear is just for a little bit of stress management. Again, this is just a pretty simple, mm -hmm. simple treatment protocol right here. And then usually like, usually. That's the one that's going to grow hair. Yeah. There's already one <laughs> big hair popping out right there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, and so, you know, usually we're also going to do some points all over the body and your legs, your arms. Mm -hmm. um, and then that, that's also based on, you know, we do a fuller intake, asking more questions about, you know, do you tend to feel hot or cold and your appetite, your thirst, and, you know, just the whole, like a list of questions, get a good feel, let's take your pulse. Great. You heard it. Come to Center Acupuncture and get on the road to good health.